I got a question. This is Jonathan. I got another question. And this question is, should I incorporate your business or my business? This is going to be a quick video. Yes. I, I don't, I can't think of a scenario where I, would, where I would say no. Incorporation is now so inexpensive that you should incorporate your business, hands without question. So uh, I, I can't tell you exactly what type of entity. You've got S-Corps, LLCs, you have C-Corps. I can, and again, I'm not an accountant. Everybody makes the same disclaimer. I'm going to make it as well. I'm not an accountant. You do need to check out what I have to say. But I've been involved in quite a few businesses, and I think it's safe to advise you against incorporating as a C Corp. I can't understand why that would ever be a good solution for a young business, for a small business. So I would really only encourage you to consider two options. Again, check out my advice, but those two options would be an LLC or an S Corp. I personally have been incorporating the last many businesses I've been involved in as LLCs. I find it to be a flexible entity. It's easy to get in and out of. It just makes a lot of sense for so many reasons. So from my perspective, an LLC is the right way to go. I do own a company that's an S Corp. I do own a company that's an LLC where we filed some paperwork that that LLC acts as an S Corp. So there's a number of different ways to go about it, but from, from a simple standpoint, from a, uh, to keep it as simple as possible, I'd probably recommend you file as an LLC. There's plenty of websites uh, that you can go and you could set this up. I wouldn't advise using a lawyer. There's really no reason. I would say anywhere from two to four hundred dollars you can incorporate. Years ago, when it required a lawyer, it was far more expensive. Now it's quite inexpensive, so I think it's just a no-brainer. It really provides a level of protection. Your other alternative, if you do not incorporate, is to go to the county. Uh, go, basically go down to your county courthouse and register your business. You'll either be a S -Corp or a, excuse me, a sole proprietor or a partnership if you have uh, a partner essentially, another person involved in the business with you. So if it's just you, you'll just be deemed a sole proprietor. You'll work under your social security number. You'll register your business name with the county. It's generally pretty inexpensive but it doesn't really provide you or your family any insurance, any protection. And what I mean by insurance is if something really bad were to happen and you were to be sued, they could come after your personal assets by having, by operating as a sole proprietor. So I wouldn't recommend that. I'd spend the $300, I'd register online. Bizfilings.com is a good site. There's plenty of others. I'd register online, incorporate, probably as an LLC, and it'll provide some protection in that if you're ever sued and you lose, at worst they can take your business, they can take the assets of your business, but they can't necessarily come after, <coughs> excuse me, they can't necessarily come after your personal property, the, the belongings that belong to you personally, your personal checking account. One last word of advice when you do operate yourself as a corporation, you need to actually operate as a corporation. Don't continue to use your personal checking account to run your business. If you're ever sued and you're act and you though you're an LLC, you're acting like you're running a business out of your personal checking account and you're not taking the steps that make you look and act like a real entity, a real corporation or a real LLC. In a lawsuit, they could do what's called piercing the veil of um, the corporation or something to that effect and say that this individual incorporated his business just as a shield from, from for legal purposes, but he it did in, in no way act as a real business, and so we want to go after his personal assets. So if you're going to incorporate, run it like a real business, use a business checking account and such. So hope that's helpful. Go incorporate. Thanks.